Hey guys, in this video we'll be going over the Muse. The Muse is a small, feline-like creature. The one we see in-game belongs to the sculptor who lives in Sandover Village. He is very depressed after losing his Muse and asks us to find her in Misty Island. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my Muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a Muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Huh. I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. The sculptor is unable to find inspiration without the muse beside him. Oh, I wish I had some inspiration. I can't work like this. Oh, where is my muse? Oh, man. Did she ever come back to me? The word for muse can be used for someone or something that inspires an artist, musician, or writer which comes from the ancient Greek mythology, where the muses were goddesses of literature, science, and art. When you find the muse in Misty Island, her head will be low to the ground and wagging tail raised up, the same way you'll see a dog do this when they are wanting to play with you. The muse's coat is a bright gold colour, with some brown markings mixed in. The face and underbelly is a creamy white colour, and where the gold and white meet, there is a trim of brown separating the two colours. On the muse's face there are some more brown markings on the forehead and it has a small brown beard. The eyes are very large and are green, going from dark to light into the centre. You can also see her opening and closing her mouth while waiting for you to chase her. The ears and tail of the muse are both extremely large and the muse also gives off shiny sparkles, yellow, orange and red in colour. When chasing the muse you'll notice how fast they can move and the ability to jump large distances. If the muse gets too far away from you, she will wait for you, turning around while wagging her tail up in the air again before running off. Once you are able to catch the muse, Dexter will snatch her from you and quickly stuff her in your bag, possibly a little jealous of your new friend. After returning the muse to the sculptor, he will be very grateful, giving you a power sour in return. Oh, the muse! You saved her! Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. You will also see the muse leap onto his very large rock in his hut. The sculptor can now return to his sculpting, gazing upon the muse for inspiration from time to time. The muse is a very cool animal in the game. The design is great and the relationship between the sculptor and the muse is really sweet. Playing the game for the first time, catching the muse can be very challenging, but it does get easier the more you practice. Hey! I see the sculptor's muse! And that's my overview for the muse. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.